name is Jody Kilbasa, and I'm the director. Thank you. Thank you. Of the 25th anniversary Virginia Film Festival, which is presented by the University of Virginia and the College and Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. Um, I, I do want to take a moment to tell you that um, it, it will be a historic year for us in a number of ways. Um, we have already reached 29 sellouts with two full days in front of us. Um, It'll be the fourth straight year of breaking an attendance record, and I think this year we're going to absolutely shatter it, so thank you for your support. I will encourage you that after tonight, you will have two full days of movie going, so go forth and multiply into our multiplexes and enjoy yourselves. Um, I'm very proud tonight. Uh, I, I had the good fortune of meeting Governor Gerald L. Belisles um, a little over a year ago. We sat down. I, I wanted to seek him out because he was the founder of the Virginia Film Festival 25 years ago. He was honored on this stage, recognized for that. And I could not have encountered a kinder or more gracious individual. And we started to chat about the history of the festival, and we started to share some ideas. And he broached with me, have you ever thought of a presidency in film series? One that would take a look at the presidency and, and its role as it's been portrayed in film. And I thought, well, gosh, what a wonderful idea. I certainly would love to do that. And, and I think that one of the fun things about this year is that 25 years later, we're bringing Governor Belisles back into the festival full circle in a meaningful and substantial way by launching a presidency in film series in partnership with the Miller Center, one of the great institutions of the University of Virginia. So without further ado, I am pleased, honored, and privileged to present Governor Gerald Belisles. Thank you very much, Jody. As many of you know, the Miller Center at the University of Virginia is a nonpartisan institution that specializes in presidential scholarship, public policy, and political history. We are pleased to launch this evening with the Virginia Film Festival a partnership series on the presidency in film. On the eve of another presidential election, this seems timely. On a larger level, it is fair to ask this question. If film became the art medium of the 20th century, and if it reflects the many facets of our culture, how does the film industry portray the office of the presidency, its power, its people, and its legacy? And it is indeed appropriate, therefore, to address such questions in an academic setting, such as Mr. Jefferson's University. So for years to come, we will attempt to showcase films about the presidency. And in case you're wondering about the production pipeline, I can assure you that there are almost as many films on or about the presidency as we've had presidents, 44 in all. In the nuclear era, for example, there was Failsafe with Henry Fonda. Seven Days in May with Burt Lancaster, Dr. Strangelove with <laughs> Peter Sellers. <laughs> then there was a Cuban Missile Story, 13 Days with Kevin Costin and Bruce Greenwood, and the campaign election film, Primary Colors with John Travolta. And who could, could forget Harrison Ford in Air Force One, <laughs> or Robert Drew's documentary about the presidency in civil rights. And there are others. Dave, Wag the Dog, to mention a few more. But tomorrow night, the Virginia Film Festival and the Miller Center will feature the forthcoming film, Hyde Park on the Hudson, a film that focuses upon the 1939 visit by the King and Queen of England to FDR's Hyde Park estate. The Miller Center's Barbara Perry and Emily Sharnock will chair and lead 
the post-screening session. But tonight, we've chosen for the launch event an iconic film about the presidency, one that has reached classic status. As you know, the film is based on Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein's book, All the President's Men. It explores the Washington Post's goal to get the Watergate story and to get it right. In fact, some reviewers have noted how the movie is more about how the story was put together than about the presidential scandal itself. Indeed, the film has been described by many as one of the great suspense thrillers of all time. One of the greatest films ever made about journalism. It influenced a generation of students to go to journalism school. And 40 years later, it's still a David and Goliath story, pitting the underdog against a powerful system. Those of you who have read the book will be struck by how close the film adheres to the text of the book, with such an elegant distillation of facts turned into a visual narrative that makes the film, as someone once noted, once viewed, never forgotten. When the film concludes, Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein will join me on stage for a conversation about the film, its impact on the presidency, its impact on journalism, and its impact on us and our culture. When that conversation ends, our guests will migrate to the lobby of the Paramount for a book signing. And from the size of this crowd, some 1,100 people, I'm told, I certainly hope our guests have brought at least 1,100 books. Enjoy the show.